As an artist, sometimes I get things stuck in my head and the only way to get rid of them is to make something, and our recent cruise was no different. Just before the cruise, I had randomly been watching a house tour of Jojo Siwa's house, and mostly the thing that stuck out to me was her beautiful, glittery wall art, and immediately in the back of my head, ideas for how to work some glittery art into my own decor started to percolate. I love sparkle and glitter and bling and everything shiny, so seeing that beautiful sparkling wall art on this young girl's walls really got me at first where I was like, oh, I wish I could do that and I wish I could have that on my walls and then I'm like, who cares? Why not? Go for it. I just needed something to actually make a purpose for having sparkly wall art. And then we went on a cruise. As a visual person, really weird random details will catch my attention, and I will spend a lot of time on vacations and trips zooming in and taking pictures and video of some really particular and odd little details. For instance, on this cruise, I spent a lot of time filming the sparkling sunshine on water. And then one night as we were up on deck and it's just starting to get dark and we're sailing away from Antigua and the lights are shining in all these beautiful different colors on the water and it's just sparkling and beautiful and then I remembered that beautiful pretty sparkly wall art. It was absolutely gorgeous and the perfect excuse to play with glitter. And even though I love sparkle and I've been drawing and painting like my entire life, I realized I don't think I've ever really painted with glitter before, so I was pretty darn excited to try that out. So this project in particular is definitely more to experiment and play. I'm not necessarily trying to get a super perfect resemblance to exactly recreate what the water and the colors and the sparkle look like at that particular time. I just sort of want to get that feel across, have the fun, beautiful, organic colors and play and movement sort of happening in basically just a general feel as opposed to a complete perfect rendition. So since this isn't going to be a super realistic piece of artwork, anybody should be able to pretty much just follow along, maybe change the colors to your own particular choice, or go exactly as I am, whatever makes you happy and brings you joy. I try to keep random canvases around for rush commissions or just weird random projects like this one, so I pulled out sort of a medium-sized canvas so I would have enough room to play, wouldn't be too cramped, but I didn't want to waste a nice big canvas on something that's really just having fun one day. I started by blocking in my basic shapes with the negative space portion of the water, so anywhere that wasn't going to be lit up all bright and pretty, and I did that with a black around the outer edge, fading down to sort of a charcoal gray as I got to the bottom edge of the canvas. Then I just gradually worked my way in towards the sort of triangular shapes that I was going to have of the lit portions of the water, using different colored streaks of black and gray, getting sort of somewhat lighter as I went towards the front of the viewing plane, which is at the bottom of the canvas. I used a navy blue for the outer edges of the left light streak. Then for my mid-tone base for the leftmost light streak, I used a royal blue. I did a few highlights of a sort of sky blue, but that wasn't really bright enough for me. I wanted a little more color.
So I moved on to sort of a light teal, and that got me more of that turquoisey, tropical Caribbean feel. And for all of this, I am making sure to keep my brush strokes visible, having a horizontal, swooping, slight arcs to my brush strokes to have that sort of watery wave feel. And then moving inwards, I went to a bright red, followed by orange strokes in the center to really have everything seem very bright and poppy. Then I moved on to sort of a golden yellow for my highlights in the red streak. And I let some of the colors from the blue and the red streak out into the grays and blacks of the background to sort of give that fading effect. Once that was dry, I moved on to a silver metallic in the blue section. Just hitting a few highlights here and there with smaller, closer together pieces towards the narrower point of the light streak, getting into larger but more defined areas as you moved down the streak. But I also used some silver in the gray negative space to really play up that dapply water effect, but I had most of those as sort of softer, fuzzier streaks, not as defined and carry those over into the gray sections on the far end of the right streak. Then in the red light streak, I used gold and did basically the same thing. Then I let all of that dry before I got to move on to the glitter portion. The glitter, I lined a bowl with aluminum foil. You can also use cling wrap. I've worked with both before. I just happen to have the foil on hand. Then I poured in a little bit of Mod Podge. I didn't need a lot. A little goes a long way here. Then I added some chunky blue iridescent. I like the turquoise color for that to go with the, again, the Caribbean sort of wavy feel of the light stroke on the left. Mix it all together with a paintbrush. You can see how nice and sparkly it is. And then I started just dabbing it anywhere that I had sort of a highlight in the light streak on the painting. I tried to stick mostly to what was sort of the turquoisey light streak highlights, not the silvery ones, to really bring out the blues. Then I mixed up a little bit of a silver hologram into the Mod Podge, just like I had with the blue glitter, and I went through and applied that on different areas of the canvas, mostly on places where I had painted a silver highlight as opposed to the blue highlights. Now that the blue is done, I did the same basic thing to the red light streak, except that I used a large, chunky, iridescent glitter just to play around with it. Then I signed in a gold metallic because, of course, why not? When the weather is both warm and dry, which is a little unusual sometimes in Pittsburgh in the winter, I plan on giving this a couple really good solid coats of clear coat. I want to make sure that I seal in all the glitter so that I'm not losing anything over time, but I also want to give it that nice sheen and sparkle everywhere and all over, have a nice extra bit of shine, and I think that'll bring out the metallic paints a lot too, so I'm really excited to try that. But, as of now, I'm pretty happy with where we ended up. 
My reference photos were definitely landscape and I do like the movement and the color and shine happening here. It is a little Christmas tree like since I didn't work in anything to give it sort of a space but I really kind of don't mind that. I do like my duality that I have going of the red versus the blue. It's sort of a fire and ice thing happening. It also makes me think a lot of Star Wars. You've got sort of the dark side and the light side happening. So I'm loving all that duality that's happening and I like the way the different colors of glitter sort of blend into each other and I like having the hologram glitter a little bit everywhere to tie it all together so it's a little bit cohesive but there's definitely a difference between the two but oddly enough I kind of like it hung vertically. I like this movement, this sort of exploding action that's happening. So I'm kind of glad I kept it very abstract because I think I might hang it more vertically in the future when I find a really good place for it. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we'll see. Even though I did sign it and it's going to be down here, I don't really care. It's my artwork. I can hang it however I like and I'm still very excited about it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for some other really fun sparkly wall art for me because I'm all about adding more sparkle into my life. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like down below and remember to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications because I add a new video every Monday and Thursday. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.